Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to show you guys how to brew, um, how to co-brew loose leaf tea and the different instruments or different tools that you will need to start co-brewing loose leaf tea yourself. And you don't need a lot of very expensive tea gadgets is what I like to call them. You can just use very basic uh, tools that you already have in your kitchen. So here is this video and then stay tuned for the very last video. I have something to tell you guys. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to a Purpose Driven Wife channel. My name is Trista and in today's video, I am going to show you guys how to number one, brew loose leaf tea hot and then also show you how to brew cold loose leaf tea cold brew loose leaf tea here we go so right now i am showing you guys the towel of tea their hibiscus ginger herbal blend loose leaf tea and it is amazing this is the color of what it will look like when you um steep it and this is actually what the tea looks like the herbal tea blend of the um, hibiscus flower and ginger pieces well number one i love ginger I, I love anything ginger and hibiscus just give a nice red bright red color and it is sweet and i love it and hibiscus and ginger together is just heaven in a mug that I'm about to show you guys how to steep. If you don't know how to steep or brew loose leaf tea, I'm about to show you, but I'm just admiring the colors and the smell of this loose leaf tea. And once you guys uh, get any type of loose leaf tea, definitely get a nice smell from it because that is actually how it's going to taste. So here we go. This is how you brew it if you don't have anything fancy, right? You can just use a regular pot, put the tea inside of the pot, boil some hot water. I'm using an electric kettle and use the hot water, brew, uh, uh, heat up the hot water, put in maybe one or two teaspoons of the uh, loose leaf tea inside of a pot and let the magic begin. Okay, so just, you don't have to, um, so the, at the, I believe the instructions on the can was to use eight ounces, it, between six to eight ounces of water. I believe I put about four to six in this pot and um, about one or two teaspoons of the tea and just let it steep. Let the magic begin. Just stir it up so it can freely float and become magic in a cup, okay, or in a mug, all right? And then that is it. You just let it sit. Um, I believe the instructions was like three to five minutes. You just let that steep. And then I'm going to show you guys how you can strain and drink it for yourself. So this is some of the tools that you will need. Um, I have a teapot. A coffee press and just a pasta strainer if you don't have any of the things that I mentioned um, just use a regular pot pasta strainer which is what I'm showing you right now and then you can use to strain the tea in a coffee press or a mug and just strain it that way what I'm about to show you guys is this cup that has a little strainer for itself that is like a cup a mug strainer and um, I love to use that that is one of my favorite things to use and this is a cough a, a teapot with a strainer already in it and so um, what I did was use the coffee strainer or the coffee press and I just poured the uh, loose leaf tea inside of that and uh, the bulk of the tea was left inside of the pot and then I'm about to show you guys just use the um, the, the press strainer to press out the rest of the loose leaf tea. And I'm about to show you guys how to do that with the strainer. You press that in there and you drink the magic. I mean, easy peasy. You strain it and then you get a cup. If there is some more, like maybe one or two leaves had escaped, I'm about to show you guys how to use the mug strainer um, from using with the coffee press that I just um, used to show you guys that. And all you have to do is just pour it. You just pour it inside of the uh, coffee mug. I didn't 
turn it so it can strain. And so you just pour it inside of the um, coffee, inside of the mug, the tea strainer, and that is it. Easy peasy. Nothing, not nothing, in, n nothing. I can't talk now. Nothing too difficult. It's just um, using what you have at home. And if you have, if you happen to have a coffee press, that's how you use it. And if you happen to have a teacup strainer, you can use that or just a regular pasta strainer. Super easy. And there is how the magic is done. You can use any type of uh, sweetener, honey or sugar and drink and enjoy. Here I am, I've cold brewed it and I'm using a glass filled with ice and just um, using that. And then here, this is a different type of tea. This is my berry white blend, herbal blend. It is, um, again, all you have to do, I just use the, um, the coffee press. I put the, instead of putting it in a pot, I put it inside of the coffee press and just regular filtered water. I filled it up all the way up to the top and use the filter and just let it sit. I did not uh, press down the strainer. I just let it sit on top of the teas and just let it sit. You can just let it sit room temperature or you can put it inside of the refrigerator and let it sit for eight to 12 hours. Okay, and letting it steep. Here I let it steep inside of the refrigerator for eight to 12 hours. And then once it's done, I pressed it down and you Okay guys, so I felt like in the video, I just kind of threw a lot of information at you. So let me just slowly talk about what uh, you guys just saw. So you guys saw the first step is if you have never uh, uh, drank loose leaf tea and you, you are used to just getting the tea bags from the grocery store, this is how you use loose leaf tea, okay? If you happen, if someone gifted you some, if you never tried it before, but you was always curious and you never had the opportunity, you just, um, you don't know how to do it. This is just how you um, brew loose leaf tea. And if you don't know what to use and you just, someone gave it to you and you don't have any type of, you know, any type of strainer or even know how to use it, I'm just showing you very basic how to brew just regular hot tea, loose leaf hot tea, right? And then I showed you guys how to, so the second step was, okay, so after the hot tea, you already know how to do that. And then the cold brew method of brewing loose leaf tea is instead of hot water, you're just using room temperature or cold water, okay? And like I said, you can use the cold press, which is what you guys saw that I used. And all you're doing is using maybe one or two to four Tea, tea, teaspoons of the loose leaf tea and then um, you can um, cover it just use cold water or room temperature water it doesn't have to be hot well it's not because it can't be hot because you cold brewing it so room temperature or cold water you are pouring that over the tea and you're just letting it sit okay the number one thing the number one thing with loose leaf tea is letting it sit okay the, you want to let it sit for three to five minutes because you want it to be able to give it time to let it soak in the water so you can have the benefits of chamomile tea or um, peppermint tea. If you want those benefits, you have to let it sit, okay? So that's the magic with hot or cold brew loose leaf tea, okay? So with the cold brew method, you, you put it inside either the coffee press, it can be a cup, a mug, or whatever you want to use, and let it sit with um, you put the tea inside of the cup loose leaf tea room temperature water and letting it sit eight to twelve hours and you strain it and drink it that's that is it it's the same thing with um coffee i had did it inside of a uh, coffee press as well and that will be here either up here um when you guys or in the description in the description box below you can definitely check that out i did like a little pumpkin spice i believe like a little blend with the coffee and just regular again just ground coffee inside of the coffee press with the spices room temperature water or cold water and you're just letting it sit then after eight to twelve hours you press it down with the coffee press and then you are done that is it. I hope that was explained in this video. And if not, definitely check out in, in the description box below. I did write a blog post about it. 
why you want to cold brew um, loose leaf tea, right? So why you want to do that and the difference between the bag tea and loose leaf tea. So bag tea that you get from the grocery store and loose leaf tea that you can get from specialteacompany.com. And that link is in the description box below. Definitely check it out. And if you have any questions, link it in the comments below. And I love chatting with you guys. And definitely hang out for the next video. God bless.